We begin this half hour with the popular energy drink Prime facing heavy criticism for its high caffeine content and kid friendly flavors. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. The beverage has become popular among teens and preteens despite the warning labels stating it's not recommended for kids under the age of 18. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthen Nandy, is joining us now. And Dr. Nandy, uh, so Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has asked the FDA to look into this and into maybe stronger warning labels. Um, so what's the problem with the caffeine levels of this drink? And Brian, yeah, Senator Schumer is actually calling this a cauldron of caffeine. And I get why, right? A 12-ounce can, Brian, has 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's the equivalent of drinking six cans of Coke or two Red Bull energy drinks. It's an awful lot of caffeine at one time. Unfortunately, the drink has become a hot commodity, especially amongst kids, partly because the beverage was founded by YouTube stars Logan Paul and KSI and because the advertising targets this group. Brian doesn't know anything about these guys. Nope. But many parents are completely unaware of the high caffeine content and the effect it may have on their child. So what exactly is a health concern, right? People say, it's, isn't caffeine just a stimulant? Well, it's actually classified as a drug. Why? Because the caffeine stimulates the central nervous system. That's why it makes you feel more awake, more energetic. But the downside is that too much caffeine can cause things like restlessness, dizziness, jitters, anxiety, upset stomach, including nausea, dehydration, headache, insomnia, and a feeling of unhappiness. It can also impact your heart, and this is important. It can cause a fast heart rate. Plus, once the caffeine rush is gone, you end up crashing. Okay, so all that said, is there even such thing as a safe limit of caffeine for kids? And then is there anything that can be done if they have too much? Yeah, important questions, right? According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, they say there is a no proven safe dose of caffeine for kids and recommend that kids under the age of 12 avoid it. And I agree with that. Now, this includes beverages like coffee, tea, soda, and sports drinks. For kids older than 12, the group advises no more than 100 milligrams of caffeine a day. Now, if your child consumes caffeine, please watch out for these side effects. Remember, kids are smaller than adults. Therefore, a smaller amount can cause adverse effects. Symptoms of caffeine overdose include vomiting, high blood pressure, racing heart, and even heart rhythm problems. It's not uncommon, Brian, for some kids to actually end up in the ER because of too much caffeine. And kids who have pre-existing health conditions like heart problems, anxiety, seizures, or migraines may be more at risk. Medical treatment can include intravenous fluids, so IV fluids, supplements, or activated charcoal, which can stop the caffeine from entering the gastrointestinal system. If anyone has any symptoms of caffeine overdose, you should get medical advice right away. And listen, the other message is that parents need to get involved and understand all the stuff like Prime. You know, all the kids I talked to know about it. Uh, you know, so we just, when we talked, you said, I've never heard of it. Yeah. But so many kids. So we got to get more involved and understand what our kids are getting from their media and, and be involved in it. All right. Grateful as always. Thank you for your expertise. My pleasure. If you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.